on video without makeup on in like a really long time. So this feels a little weird. <laughs> Sorry for my appearance. Um, but I thought it would be kind of fun today to just do a little vlog and a little bit of a get ready with me for, I guess, kind of like my everyday makeup. So yeah, also, sorry about the background. I normally have the bed looking like really cute and festive for um, when I'm filming, but I'm doing laundry right now. And since it's just a vlog, I feel like you guys probably won't mind anyway. But um, yeah, so I am getting ready. We're gonna head out to Target a little bit later when my husband gets home from work. I had to put my hair up for a second. I'm gonna start priming my face with the no, it's upside down, but no pore blum prime essence touch and soul primer. I'm just gonna put this on really quickly because I want it to kind of soak into my share with you guys. I got sent a glossy box. I've actually have never tried them before, um, but they reached out to me and gifted me with one of their boxes. So I just opened it up and I'm gonna see what's inside. I think they also sent me a discount code. So if they did, I will have that information here or in the description box or in a comment or something so you can try it out. But, um, but look how cute it says enchanted spirit, the beauty tales. And it says a very glossy fairy tale on the side. And I just love this so freaking much because it looks like a cute little like book but it's like storage. I don't know. I don't know what this is for. I think it's just like, just something cute to have. I don't know. I think it's so freaking cute. I love stuff like this. I'm definitely going to keep this like on my vanity and put some like, maybe like eyeshadow palettes or something that I don't use super often. But I just think this is so freaking cute. Like I love stuff like this. It even cuter inside just looks like this. The beauty tales, Bronson is screaming in the other room, sorry. <laughs> like really this like packaging I'm already obsessed with. Pronounce this brand. I think I've gotten something from them before but I d I'm not gonna try to say it because I don't wanna embarrass myself but it says extraordinary translucent powder. Oh, I love the packaging, it's so cute. Matte finish, okay. Well, that's really pretty. I'm not really normally a fan of matte powders because I have dry skin and I like to be as dewy as I possibly can. So maybe I'll try that. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll end up liking it. Sometimes I do like a matte look. And then the next thing in the box is this tiny cute little li lipstick. Deluxe mini KVD vegan beauty lipstick. This is actually so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is okay. I'm going to put this in my purse. This is the shade Lovecraft. I'm gonna put the therapeutic serum will energize and soothe the skin while inducing a dewy luminance. Okay, say goodbye to redness, dullness, and irritation. That is right up my alley. Okay, this sounds amazing. I actually want to smell it and see if it has a smell. Mm, it smells good. It's not bad at all. This helps with like redness and making your skin dewy. I am 100% going to try this. Like tonight <laughs> and then the next thing in the box oh i love this another uh glowy kind of item radiant glow gel mask i just love anything like i said that makes my skin not so dry so i really like that and then the last thing in the box is this really pretty purple color and i love that it matches like so perfectly with the packaging that's so cute but it is this Clay mask rejuvenates dull and tired skin while lightening dark circles and pigmentation. Holy crap, this is literally perfect for me. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying this stuff tonight. I will let you guys know if these uh, work for me, but I like literally this is the most perfect box that I've ever gotten because like I will probably use everything. Not such a fan of like a matte finish translucent powder, but I am up to try it, especially if this stuff like all helps my skin. <laughs> get more glowy and luminous then i will definitely be trying this i just wanted to share that with you this is a really 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 good box um i will have more information about it in the description if you want to check it out it is a subscription box and um yeah thank you so much glossy box for sending this to me i am super impressed i will let you guys know what i think about everything also if you already are subscribed to glossy box let me know because i want to hear your thoughts and yeah, I am really impressed with that box. 
No, I am just putting some more primer on. This is just um, a professional hydrating primer because you know, my dry skin. Um, so for foundation, the, most of everything I use is like drugstore products, by the way. Foundation, I just use the True Match Lumi um, foundation. This is in the shade W4. This is not my actual shade. I always use a darker foundation. Um, normally because I have like a fake tan on, but like if you can tell, it is not my color at all. Normally I have a fake tan on, but I am going to be completely covered today. So I am just going to blend it a little bit down my neck because I had fake tan and it has just pretty much, it's gone now. I finished um, applying my foundation. I am next using concealer this is like my favorite concealer ever i also really like the elf um like shape tape dupe the hydrating one um i didn't really like the shape tape concealer very much because i have dry skin and when i would put it on it would just like my under eye would look so cakey and i really like the finish of this concealer so i just go and i normally buy like five of these at a time because I just love them so much. So I am just going to put on my concealer. Um, since I am also going to be brightening up my face a little bit because like I said, I don't have any self tanner on. So I like to really brighten up everything with um, concealer to kind of balance out the darker shade that I have on. So I normally will just take this white um, Morphe concealer and I'll put like a dot of that in with my concealer. And it just like really brightens everything up a ton and also my foundation doesn't look so super dark on me so foundation and my concealer on and now i'm gonna go in with my like holy grail like favorite powder ever i think i mentioned this when i first got it like all long time ago i feel like it's been a few months my hair is crazy um there we go just hide it <laughs> but this is the essence brighten up powder banana powder mine looks like this it is so awful it actually came broken from ulta and i asked them to send me a new one and they just send me like an e-gift card so i've just been using this one <laughs> um but it still works just fine. I really, really, really love this stuff. So I am just going to, I set my under eyes with this because I feel like it also helps brighten up my under eyes, which can get really dark. So this is like my favorite powder ever. Also I feel like it helps with uh, my under eyes, like not creasing. So I really like that. So normally I'll just take some, put it under my eyes, put a little bit on my nose because I always tend to have my makeup come off of my nose for some reason. Okay, so basically I just went in and my son is really loud. Sorry, my husband just got home and they are super loud together all the time. So sorry if you hear screaming, shouting, wrestling, dogs barking, whatever. <laughs> um, my eyebrows look super dark right now, um, but I just went in and fixed the shape of them a little bit and then I'll just like blend that out. And then I am taking another e.l.f. product. This is an, uh, uh, what is this? It's a clear brow gel, no, clear black, oh my God. Clear brow and lash mascara. I just use both sides. I feel like there's no real difference in the formula on either side. So I just go through like the entire bottle on my brows only. Um, and it's like a really nice, it's like literally $2. I've been using it for years and I'm sure there's probably better options for brow gel, but I just, it's so easy. I can get it at Target, like Walmart, anywhere. 
and it's two bucks. So I just like the convenience of this one and it does the job fairly well. So I'll literally just put this through my brows. I will comb the front up like that to just kind of make them look a little more natural. You can tell it's a little bit better than this side. Put the gel on and then I'll just kind of like comb my hairs like upwards and outwards. Just like that. And then do the same on the other side. Okay, so they just look like that when I am done. They look super weird because I have like no eye makeup on whatsoever. And my fluffy eyeshadow brush, this is like my favorite one ever. This is Morphe M433. And I will just take this and either use it in and dip it into either a bronzer, a bronzer or a contour powder. Since I don't really have bronzer on today, I'm just gonna use my contour powder. And I'm just gonna put this and the crease of my eye just a little bit. Kind of contour my eyes, I guess. <laughs> so just like that, it's not a huge difference. I don't really like to wear dark mascara or mascara eyeshadow very much. And then I am just taking like a little flat brush and putting some under my eye. So next for mascara, I am back to using this one again. I have tried this one in the past, but I really like it. So I'm using it again. Um, it's just the Essence Lash Princess. It's a really, really good like four, three, maybe $5 mascara that just works super well. So I'm putting this one on first. So that's just one coat of this mascara alone and honestly it looks so good like i love it two coats of the mascara i'm gonna go in i'm gonna let them dry a little bit but i'm gonna go in with another one i like to layer mascaras so i'm gonna go in with this one. Oh, i like that one a lot makes a huge difference when you add like another mascara on top of another one. So good. So I'm just gonna put like a tiny amount. I'm gonna use this mascara again though because this one has a skinnier little brush and it's really good for bottom lashes. So I'm not gonna put a lot. Just like a tiny coat because I don't want it to be too dramatic looking. Ow. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just gonna put on some lipstick and then I'm done getting ready. Um, I have two that I wanna share with you guys because I actually really, really like them. I picked them up at Target recently and I feel like they're really good. This one smells so good. Really good fall kind of colors, like a darker nude. But this one is a really good color. It is Maybelline. It is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the color Enjoy the View. And it's really pretty. It's kind of like a more reddish, like warmer mauve color, but it's really, really pretty. So I like that one, but then this one is like really good. This is like a really good, like nude fall color. This one is another Maybelline lipstick, Color Sensational lipstick in the color 657. And this is a matte shade, but this one is so good. It's like, way darker. I'll just put a little bit on. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's probably not put on perfectly because I am not sitting close to the mirror and I'm gonna wipe a little bit of it off because I don't wanna really wear a dark lipstick today but I have been wearing this one a lot and I really like it. But that is what it looks like. Um, it's so pretty. It's like a really nice, like moody kind of nude color. Um, I just really like it a lot. So now that I'm all done doing my makeup, I'm probably gonna do 
something to my hair because it's a little bit frizzy and I'm just gonna get dressed. So I completely freaking forgot that I was supposed to get my camera delivered. I got so like sidetracked about getting ready for Target that I was just like, okay, Target, Target, Target is all on my mind. And as we were leaving, the UPS truck turned down our street. Like it was like we were leaving our street and it pulled in right behind us. And I was like, oh my God, my camera. <laughs> so I turned right back around and I'm at home now. So I am waiting to see this UPS man because he's got my stuff. And I'm so excited and I can't believe that I almost forgot. So while I wait for this man to pull up with my stuff, um, I'll probably do like an unboxing. Maybe I was going to drive, but maybe I'll have my husband drive now so that I can unbox my camera. I'm so excited. So, okay. I will <laughs> jump back on here when he gets here. I care about this. <laughs> Do you want to just like stay here for a little bit and do your unboxing? Mm -mm. Yeah, let me get out because of the car. Because we're going to have more stuff in the car. Open the other one too so I can get rid of that box. So excited. The picture here. So I got a mic. This is the one I don't know how good it is. Good what? I don't know how good it is. We'll see. Well here is the battery. It looks good. Does this come apart? It does. This is a big battery compared to thing that I have with my camera. You see that? I feel it too. It's so heavy. So hopefully there's yeah, some like, like actual battery life like to it. It's like twice of what you got now. I, I, I don't know. It's a way bigger. Look at the battery charger is way bigger. This is like a <laughs> this is like an XL version of the one I have. The other camera that I film with is the Canon G7X and I got another Canon camera. But this is like a huge charger. So there's that, has a little camera strap. I'm not gonna be using that probably ever. And then, the camera. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, honey. So nice, so this doesn't have a lens on it right now. It came with, with a lens but I bought another one because I didn't like the one that it came with and then it has a little flip out screen so I can see myself because that's like the most important thing ever for me to film at least because that's just what I'm used to and I don't think I could go without one now yeah that's like a huge freaking battery compartment that's insane so um I got, I guess this is like the newest version. I saw some other, like I said, I bought this. I saw some other YouTubers who were using like the Canon 80D or Canon 70D. I think one of my other favorite um, girls that I watch is SMLXO and she uses the Canon 70D. I don't know what lens she has, but that's what she has like in her, I think list on her Instagram or something I found. But, She's is a 70D, so I just got the newest version of that because I like her video quality. And then the lens I got is like a 50 millimeter lens. So I wonder if there's any charge to this. Probably isn't, but I just want to see. Actually, I could charge the battery in the car if there isn't. And I need to get a memory card. This is like so, this is like freaking huge. like a lot nicer camera. Yeah, it does. Okay, well it didn't turn on. I think you need to charge the battery. Well, I think it's not at least. Yeah, charge. 
charge the battery pack. So I'm gonna charge this and I'll probably talk about it a bit more later on. I'm so glad. So the main reason I wanted to get a new camera is because I just have issues with my audio on my current camera because the camera I have is more made for like vlogging and not sit down videos which is the majority of what I film now and my G7X doesn't have a microphone uh, output or whatever and this one does so hopefully my like video quality and audio quality and <laughs> lighting is all going to improve really really soon so I'm really excited Okay, it's super dark now, but I went into Target and completely forgot to vlog anything dealing with Bronson and everything else, and I forgot half the stuff that I needed to buy, so that's cool. Um, but I wanted to try to look for decor for like our bedroom, so we ran over really quick to Home Goods, and they were like about to close and they had like literally nothing like they're getting rid of all of like the fall stuff that they had and it's just like really just a ton of christmas decor not a whole lot of anything else at all which i don't want to buy christmas decor i want it to be like neutral that i can like leave there all year round so i don't know it did just i am not having good luck apparently um but yeah, forgot to vlog. I did get some really cute boots and a cute scarf, and then I also picked up a couple um, things for the giveaway, and I think that's it. Other than just like some other things we needed, but all the other stuff I wanted to get, I forgot. Um, so now we're gonna go to dinner. Where are we going? Chili's. So we're going to Chili's to eat dinner. I don't know, I have not been there in a really, really, really long time, I feel like, so I don't even know what I like from there. It looks like Brittany's dog. Big Dalmatian. <laughs> Somebody is, it was a great day, honey. Somebody stole him. Um, but yeah, Kyle we <laughs> we uh, are on our way to Chili's, and we're gonna get some dinner because it's like eight o'clock, and we haven't eaten yet. So um, yeah, we're back.